Plastic was first introduced to the world by Alexander Parts in 1885. He called his creation synthetic ivory and won medals at the World Fair for his cellulose-based invention. He dubbed this invention as Parkinson and sold it as such in 1862. Later, in 1909, the world's first synthetic polymer came into being by Leo Bakeland. This compound was dubbed Bakelite and composed of formaldehyde and phenol as used in four electric parts. It is often considered the first true plastic since it was a purely synthetic material. After World War I, the end of many new plastics exploded onto the scene, polystyrene and PVC being among them. Both developed by the IG Farber & Company, polystyrene is a compound that has styrofoam today, while PVC is used for pipes, gutters, housing, sidings, electronic casings, shrink wrap, food packaging, and rain gear. Soon after the 1930s, the development of nylon went underway and was introduced to the world in 1939 at the World Fair by DuPont Corporations. In 1936, the plastic explosion began as plastics like polymethyl macrolide became known as, better known as plexiglass, polyethylene and its two forms, low-density PE and high-density PE in 1933, Polypropylene was discovered in the 1950s, but cannot be attributed to any one inventor since several different people invented it in several countries. Polyurethane was invented in 1937 and is used today in spandex. In 1939, the patent was filled for epoxy that is used as a heavy-duty bond in aging today. In 1941, polyethylene terephthalate was invented and is what nearly all soda bottles are made of. In 1938, plastic was discovered a plastic was discovered by accident while trying to refine uranium in gaseous diffusion. Polytetrafluoroethylene, also known as Teflon. And finally in the 1970s, Dew Point developed Kevlar. Most plastics are relatively harmless in terms of toxicity, but often the chemicals that are added to plastics are what makes them toxic. For example, DEHP has been banned in the European Union because it interferes with hor human hormone functions. And vinyl chloride, which is used to produce PVC, is a human carcinogen. Also, some plastics are toxic when burned. The recycling of plastic is broken up into a seven number system since all plastics have different compositions. One represents polyethylene tetrafluoride, two represents high density PE, three represents PVC, four represents low density PE, five represents polypropylene, six represents polystyrene, and seven is for all other plastics. The properties of several plastics are very interesting. Nylon is a very durable polymer and is a very silky texture. It has a density of 1.15 grams per centimeter and melts instead of burning. PVC has the third most widely used plastic in existence and is extremely cheap and durable. It has a tensile strength of 50 to 80 MPa and has a density of 1,390 kilograms per meter. It melts between 100 and 260 degrees Celsius and costs between 0.5 to 1.25 euros per kilogram. It is composed of an interlinking chain of carbon atoms with chlorine and hydrogen atoms filling its empty bonds. Teflon, an accidental plastic, has a density of 2,200 kilograms per cubic meter and its melting point is 327 degrees Celsius. Its formula is CNFN plus 2. It is very unreactive and dissolves in UV sunlight. It also is incredibly durable, being able to withstand bullets and resists corrosion from hydrofluoric acid. <laughs>